Venom Man 20 here tonight. Hopefully you can hear me over BuzzBud over here. But tonight we have a huge venomous reptile unboxing to do. So if you don't know, due to coronavirus, they've actually shut down the shipping of venomous reptiles through Delta. There's only three hubs open in the United States to the best of my knowledge. We actually had to drive to one of these hubs to pick up the venomous snakes that we've been buying along or supposed to have shipped in, so we made it count. We got everything here. We have quite a few snakes to go through. I mean, we have the deadliest snake out of Africa. We have everybody's favorite, a Gaboon Viper. We have a couple snakes over here that's newly described to science. These, I think there's like nine or 10 in the United States. That's like the biggest venomous snake in the United States. We even have venomous lizards. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for all of it. I don't think I can fit it in one video. So we're gonna do multiple parts to this. All the parts will be down in the description. Anyway, let's get started. What should we move on to next? Rattlesnakes? Good call. I'll be downright honest. I have never seen a video of one of these on YouTube. They're probably out there, but I've never seen one. I think this is a pretty rare snake in the States. Don't know that to be true, but uh, I can say for sure, I've worked with quite a few of these. I've never seen one as beautiful as this one. This one's coloration is great. So this is Crotalus rabus or the Mexican pygmy rattlesnake. And this one is just beautiful. So these are only found in Mexico. And I don't have an extensive knowledge on this species whatsoever. So if, if you wanna know more, I will do a video on this species in time because I work with quite a few of them. But these are quick. They are so fast at striking. They don't ride a hook. If you grab them by the tail, like you do a Western Diamondback or something, they'll come right back up over themselves. Hey, little guy. So to tail this snake would be really stupid. Um, I've seen people do it, and I wouldn't do it. No, 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 not down into the hole. A little touch ain't gonna hurt nothing, right? You are pretty. You've got such a nice face. And your little colors, he knows where that hole is. You orientate your body weird though. It might be that you're on a slick surface. I hope, I hope there's nothing neurologically wrong with you. It's always possible. We're not going down the hole, okay? No hole going, going down. That's, that's not cool. We're not doing that. Are you ready to go up? I'm gonna put you up and then we're gonna get some close-ups of you because you're really, really pretty. Okay, let's go up, because you're you're acting a little crazy. So this is your little quarantine setup. That's what you're going into. So this right here is Crotalus aquilus. I actually work with quite a few of these, and the one thing I can tell you is that they are very quick. So this is the Dusky Rattlesnake, or the Mexican Dusky Rattlesnake. Very cool, but very fast striking, aren't you? So he's a little rock rattlesnake. He can come up over his own body very quickly. I don't know a lot about these to be teaching you guys a lot about these. So I will be doing a video on almost all the snakes I've been pulling out tonight just going a little bit farther in depth. So those videos will be coming here soon. But for now, we can just appreciate this guy for being awesome. We'll go ahead and move on to the next rattlesnake. So we actually have three of these to go through. So I might go through a couple of them really quick. I don't know. I really like these. These are one of my favorite rattlesnakes in the world. I probably have like 10 favorite rattlesnakes in the world. But this is Crotalus polystictus, or the Mexican lancehead rattlesnake. This is not a lancehead. This is not a golden lancehead. This is not a bothrops. This is not a fertile lance. This is none of those. This is not a Martinique lancehead. It's a rattlesnake. Just had that, just their name. Very cool. These guys get relatively big for a little montane rattlesnake. It's gonna be hard to get off, but these guys are so freaking quick. I can't screw up with this snake. I can't screw up with any venomous snake, but you know what I mean. Come on. Oh, bad. We're good. What's up? How are you? The pattern on these guys 
is to die for. Not to die for. That's that's a that's bad wording. That's bad word choice. These are pretty. I mean, you got a bulbous head on you. What's up, bub? How are you? Did you have a good trip? Did you have a good journey? I wonder if when you get that big that your head gets bulbous or if you're a little swollen around the glands. Now your head looks like pretty normal. You just got a big old head on you. Now, I'm sorry for saying it, but we're all thinking it. These guys are very quick. I don't want this one to get you under the demeanor that this is not a very fast snake because it's a very fast snake for sure. Very fast striking, very... They're on it. They don't mess around. This guy's being a good little dude. Ain't gonna lie. Now this is not the biggest one. We have one a little bit bigger. But the pattern on these guys is just gorgeous. I mean, that is a good looking rattlesnake. You ready to go up inside your enclosure? You got a decked out enclosure compared to a lot of the guys. Isn't it? You are all souped up. Let's go ahead and put you up and then we'll get some close up shots of you or one of the other guys. So this right here is actually the biggest cordless polystictus I've ever worked with. Figured we get him out next, just to show some size. Cause he's a pretty good size little dude. He's in shed, I do believe, cause he ain't very pretty. He's not very standout-ish. The other two had shed, and this one has no shed inside his container, so. Like I said, this is a little Mexican lancehead rattlesnake. Very beautiful. I'm looking back on yourself and trying to move your container out from underneath you. Yep, you're a good size, dude. You're a pretty big dude. Pretty big dude. What's up? How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Venom Man. You can call me that. You can call me Brandon. You can call me Food Dude. You can call me whatever you want to. You're my new best friend. You're acting weird. You good? Are you confused? Are you dizzy? Did the elevation of the flight kind of get to you? I understand if it did. You're a pretty dude. You have some fresh water dish in there. Nice water. Some Aquafina. None of that Dasani crap. We've got the good stuff for you, dude. You ready to go up? Look at you. You sure are pretty. Are you okay? It's weird how you're spinning around. Your neck looks fine. I'm not worried about that. Maybe just because you've been inside a container for a while. I gotta keep an eye on you. And that's why we're going through quarantine, just in case if something isn't quite right, you know? I mean, this could just be neurological, could just be him acting weird. Maybe he doesn't like the slick surface. It's hard to tell, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Come on, big guy. So here's the last Crotalus polystictus, Mexican lancehead rattlesnake. Figure out where that tape starts. Like I said, he's shed out, so this might just be the best looking one of them all. Also might be the smallest. Forgot to put water inside the dish, but that's okay. I'll just pour it in once we get you in there. It's okay, it's okay, don't, don't go too crazy. I'm sitting in a chair, so. I don't want to go too crazy. Where are you going? And he's gone. Oh. Where'd you go? Where are you going, dude? Come here. It's okay. It's okay. You were quick. Got him? Okay, I gotta open up the cage because I'm stupid and forgot. I didn't know he was gonna act like this. You calm now? I haven't lost a snake off a table in a long time. And we're good. Okay, so I don't know how much of that you've seen. 
Snake went off the front of the table. That doesn't happen very often. I don't like it when it does. We're good now. Snake's okay. I really wish he had arms to catch himself, but he didn't. So we're good. He's put up. Let's get some close-ups of him. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. So these right here are Crotalus Simus Zebcon, or the Yucatan Rattlesnake. These are cool. I've never messed with these. These are, uh, these are neat. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these are a very toxic little tropical rattlesnake. I would have to do more research. I will do another video if I possibly can on these. I actually know who these are going to. That's a good friend of mine. So therefore, I'm not gonna have these in my possession for long, but uh, I will try to get one more video out with the actual knowledge after I read up on them and do some research. I didn't know these were coming, so I don't know crap about crap. So I'm gonna back up just in case, because this could go south, as it does sometimes. Hey little guy, you are pretty. How about you? Oh, I'm making a mess. But that's okay. Hey there. How are you, dude? So these used to be extremely rare in captivity, but a lot of people bred these recently. Like this last year, I think quite a few people bred these. Good looking eyes, man, just pretty. And I've seen prettier. You're not the prettiest one I've ever seen but you are a good looking snake. I love that stripe down your neck. That is uh, just gorgeous. You are a pretty, pretty boy. It's a beautiful little rattlesnake. These are cool because they get relatively large. These are not the smallest rattlesnake out there. These are still very young. Hey little guy. just kind of savoring the time I get to work with them. Now, in place of me getting rid of these, something cool is a coming, so no worries there. Hey, how are you? Are you ready to go up and I'll get your friend out who's a little bit bigger than you? Is that, is that kosher? Is that cool? You ready? hook you because you're a little thin for this hook. There we go. I got gotcha. you. Very nice. Move my chair back into frame so I can sit down. But this guy, he's cocked back a little bit and so the container, maybe he's just shy the way he's, you know, wrapped and sitting. I don't know. I mean, he's surrounded or at least he feels surrounded. I got a light over there. I got a camera with a big eye over there. I got a camera over here. There's me. So I get why you'd be nervous, but he might come out guns a-blazing too, just like that polystictus. So we'll see, especially the way I'm shaking him up. He just looks a little bit bigger. Ghost, <laughs> nothing to worry about. open you out here just in case just in case you're not as nice as I'm hoping oh yeah you're a good-looking guy you're pretty I like you. you got some got a little bit better weight to you got a nice pattern there's some nice reds I'm guessing that the camera's probably not catching it it happens every time I see you're breathing very hard you're getting very nervous it's okay 
It's okay. Hi. How are you? Did you have a good ride? Were you cramped? Did you not have enough leg room? Back up a little bit. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Should I get a longer hook for you? Maybe. Yeah. It's okay. Ready to go up to see your friend? Then we'll get some close-up shots. It's okay. You can keep going. These are special. These are these are cool. We're just going to open up one right now because they pretty much both look the same. They're both pretty much the same size. Save a little bit of time on the video footage. But this right here, I don't know if you're ever going to see any place else or haven't probably seen any place else yet. This is a newly described species. Now, I'm not saying that someone just found this and said some little cubby hole or anything like that, but I'm guessing that all the locals are like a little brown rattlesnake and they never really thought anything more of it. Um, but then we found out that this is a, a separate species to everything. Um, so this is Crotalus talaki. I think the common name is like the talak rattlesnake or something of the sort. I don't know. Uh, up until like five minutes ago, I didn't even know there was a common name. Um, I have a friend that's very intelligent in rattlesnakes and only rattlesnakes. Oh, he's intelligent in other facets as well, but he didn't know the common name either. These are rare. These are these are rare. Um, this is really, really cool that I have this animal and that I'll be able to breed this animal someday. And uh, I'm excited. For you, you might just be like, oh, let's use a little brown rattlesnake. This is cool. This is, uh, since these are so newly described to science, we're talking a couple of years. Um, there isn't much literature out there on them. I really don't know a lot. I do know I don't want to get bit. And I do know that the lid on this container sucks. What is up with these snaps every two inches? You gotta be kidding me. Dude, there was no need for tape. Like, you were never getting out of that. Like, I respect your abilities, but there is no way. Like, this lid is legit. If that came from Chinese takeout, like, they did not want that lo mein to get out. Like, that's for real. Hi, bud. How are you? I don't even know if you know how rare you are. You're, like, super rare. You're, like, fresh to science. We didn't even know you existed. So how are you? You're pretty cool. I like you. They have a really nice defined subocular stripe right behind their eye. They have these nice little little patterns, almost like a uh, pattern actually reminds me a lot of like a uh, uh, Massasagua rattlesnake or something, the pattern. Now, they don't overlap whatsoever. Of course, Massasagua's way up north. These are down in Mexico, but uh, just very cool. Now, I said that you're Mexican because I'm 99% sure that you are, but knowing my luck, there's that 1% chance that you're not, and I am going to hear about it forever. Other YouTubers are going to make videos about it. People are going to leave stuff inside the comments telling me that I'm stupid because I don't know a lot of information about a snake that no one has a lot of information about. <laughs> Sorry, not downing you guys. You guys are great. I'm just, just saying people get so caught up sometimes. It's such a cool snake though. You're neat and you're twerking. Look at you wiggling your little butt. Like you're so mad. You're mad at the world. You got small man syndrome. <laughs> You're cool. I like you. So I have a couple of these already. I have this one now. I have this one over here. I don't know the sex ratios. I, I'm sure I know, but I don't know. So I'm going to have to look. But maybe someday we'll breed these in captivity and it'll be awesome. And these are quick, so I don't want to take too many chances. But I do want to touch them. I mean, come on now. Why wouldn't I? Ready to go up?
crap, that was a lot of snakes. We still have more to do. So go down into the description, check for the next part, and uh, trust me, I think you'll like it. Make sure you subscribe and show your friends. Y'all have a good one.